Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the values of f of 5, f prime of 5, g of 5, and g prime of 5. All right, so with these values of the, of the function and the first derivative, we're asked to find these three compositions. So for this, we're going to use the product rule. If we're taking the derivative of f times g, that's going to be f times g prime plus g times f prime. So think of this as the first term times the derivative of the second, plus the second times the derivative of the first. Luckily, we know what all these are, 4, 5. So f is 1, g prime, the derivative of g is 2, plus g is negative 3, f prime is 6. 1 times 2 is 2, plus negative 3 times 6 is minus 18, 2 minus 18 is negative 16. Secondly, we have a fraction here, so we can use the quotient rule. So it's going to be the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the, denom of the denominator over the denominator squared. So the denominator is negative 3. The derivative of the numerator is 6 minus the numerator is 1 the derivative of the denominator is 2, and the denominator is negative 3, which is squared. This is negative 18 minus 2 over negative 3 squared is positive 9, so we get negative 20 over 9. Here, similar thing, except the denominator and the numerator are flipped. So we have the denominator times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator over the denominator squared. Similar thing, plug in the f is 1, derivative of g is 2, minus g is negative 3, the derivative of f is 6, over f is 1 squared. So, isn't really a fraction here, it's just the numerator. 1 times 2 is 2, plus counting your negatives, distributing it, however you want to think about it, plus 3 times 6 is plus 18, which is equal to 20. So A, B, and C. Um, this is just tracking the product rule and the quotient rule, and then making sure you plug in f for f and not f prime for f and so on. But that's how you solve that. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.